Okay, so now we're going to look at pages, okay? Now pages are, are, are static entities. Company profile about us, um, our location, contact us, that sort of stuff, all right? Our team. Okay, so here you'll see pages. Um, these are things that you probably don't update a lot, but you get set up correctly to begin with, and you might go in there and update it from time to time. So straight out of the bat, you'll see a sample page created when WordPress is installed. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to add a new one. But the first thing I'm going to do is that, that you've really got to keep this place organized. Okay, so what I do is I say, okay, that I'm going to rename this. I'm going to call this about, uh, about, okay. Then I get rid of that slug and you'll see when I get rid of that slug and I update it and then I look at it again, you'll see that it's called about. Now this is going to be, on my menu, it's going to be home, about, contact, blah, blah, blah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this an order of 10. Now the lowest goes first, so 10 will be first, okay? And then I'm going to create a new page, okay? So what I've done is I've got the, the, the title and slug correct, okay? I've got the, the order at 10, okay? Now I'm going to create a new page called add new and I'm going to call it our location. Uh, well, let's, let's start with our services. Okay, I'm going to give this an order of 20. Okay, I'm going to put some content in there. Now, the featured image thing, unless you've got a thing that enables the featured image on it, it's not going to work. So what you'd have to do is you'd have to put an image on the uh, here, and we'll do we'll do one. I'll just use this image for instance and insert it. Um, alignment uh, rights. Uh, I won't have a link anywhere, and we'll just have that. At, you can use the thumbnail or the full size, but I'm just going to use the thumbnail, medium thumbnail. Insert into there. So what I've done is I'll put my mouse here, and then you'll see when I go to the visual editor, it's sort of positioned to the right of the content, which is where I wanted it. Okay, and it puts a nice little buffer around it, a little, uh, some some spacing around it. Okay, so pretty much that's all you do. Now, if our services uh, had a, had a child, we'll, we'll show you that in a second. But we've done that to twenty. Okay, and now I'm going to create uh, another page called. Um, uh, writing okay it's one of the services that we have just put some content in there i'm going to put a parent our services and give that a, rate, a ranking of 10 okay and then i'm going to publish that and then i'm going to create another page called um editing okay give that a ranking of 20 um, and the parent again our services you'll see that that's listed there and publish that and then I'm going to um, create another page called Contact Us, or Contact. Okay, put some content in there just to begin with. And this one's going to be 30. Okay, I'm going to explain this in a second and publish it. Now when I go and look at pages, you'll see that I have About Services, which is, that's got a rating of 10. It's got a rating of 20. And then I've got a rating of 10 for the, that one underneath there, and a rating of 20 for, for, for that one under there. And then I've got a rating of 30 for that. So that's the order that they appear. It just keeps it clean. It's not essential that you do that, but it keeps it clean. Okay. If you if you look when I actually create a menu now, uh, every theme has a menu, and I'll call this the main menu. It makes life easier for me. Okay, I'm going to call this the primary menu. Save that. And then I'm going to look at view all, home, about, services, blah, 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 blah. Add to the menu. And I'll show you. That this will be in another one. Uh, but then I can just drag and drop that there. It's all it's already in the order that I wanted it. And then I click Save Menu, and then you'll see the menu here. Click that, and there you got Home About Our Services, all nicely formatted. Okay, but we'll, the menu will be another video later. But that's basically how you manage pages. Now with pages, you've got to put the content inside it. Okay, if you want to put uh, videos and stuff like that, you've got to put it inside the actual post. Okay rather than using the featured image. Okay, you can still insert galleries and things like that inside the post. And it's got the same features as, as that where you can have it published later, you can have a private page um, and stuff like that, okay? Now, um, so that's pretty much how pages work. It's, a, it's pretty simple and it's something that you'll go back to and edit on an infrequent basis. But don't go overboard with pages. Your, your content should be put into the posts, okay? All right, uh, so your, your news items and things like that are all done in the post. They're not done in pages. Pages are for static entities. Okay, thank you.